Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining on a uh, NATS yoga session. Uh, thanks to Maitre Garu um, for taking these uh, sessions uh, every week. And thanks to our sponsors, Swagat Biryani and more. Uh, Maitre Garu, over to you. You can start. Thank you. Thank you, Ravi Garu. A very good morning, everyone. Let's start the practice. Everybody, please be seated in comfortable meditative pose. Both the palms into chin mudra, tip of the index and thumb together. Place them on your thighs. Make sure your spine, neck, head is straight in line. Close your eyes. Let's go ahead with three mindful inhalations and exhalations. Breathe in. Breathe out. Observing your abdomen bulging out, breathe in. Now observing your abdomen shrinking in, breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping your eyes closed. Slowly join your palms together into Namaskara Mudra or Anjali Mudra at the center of the chest. Let's all chant Om Kara for three times. Take a deep inhalation. Om. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Let's all chant Om Asatoma Sadgamaya together. Om Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotikamaya Mrityoiva Anrutangamaya Om Shanti 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 Slowly start rubbing your palms together to generate warmness. Make the palms in the shape of a cup. Place them over your eyes. Feel the warmth. With few gentle blinks, slowly open your eyes, looking into your palms. Yeah. Actually, today is the first weekend of the month. We are supposed to do Trataka, but I haven't messaged you all. So we are postponing it to the coming next class for the next class everybody please keep a lamp with a wick soaked in 
preferably county. If it is not available, you can use any other one. Okay. Today we'll start the warm ups in standing position. All of you try to stand up without taking the support of your palms. Knee pains, unte, please take the support. Others try to take the try to stand up without the support. We'll start with the neck movements. You can place your palms on your waist. Slowly inhaling, raise your neck up and feel the nice stretch in the neck region. Exhaling, get your neck back to the center. I'm moving around for the demonstration purpose. You can stay in the same position and continue. Inhale up, exhale center. Inhale up, feel the nice stretch. Exhale center. Slowly. Come back to the center. We can I also go ahead with forward bend, but as these days we are anyways throughout the day looking at the phones and we are doing the forward bend, we are skipping that part in the warm-ups. Now we'll go ahead with the lateral bend. Slowly center. Now to the left. We bend to the left, feel a good stretch on the right. Center to your right. Now feel the good stretch on the left. Center, left, center, right, center, left. Slowly come back to the center. Now we'll go ahead with the twisting of the neck. Turn your neck and try to get the chin parallel to the shoulder and feel the beautiful twist in the neck region. Center to the left. Now all these neck movements, do them very gently. Center to your right. Slow and gentle. To your left. If you wish to, you can also include breathing wherein you inhale at the center. Exhaling, twist your neck to the right. Again, inhale, center, and twist your neck to the left. Slowly come back to the center. Now we'll go ahead with the rotation, neck rotations. If you are having any neck pain or neck issues like spondylitis or spondylosis, you will avoid the forward bending of the neck in the neck rotations. And go ahead with only backward rotation where you bend your neck slightly towards the back and roll your ears from right to left and left to right. Roll your neck to the back. Others, we can go ahead with complete rotation. Also avoid complete rotation if you're having issues like vertigo. Now gently bend your neck forward, then slowly turn your neck. If possible, try to touch the ear to the shoulder, keeping your shoulder relaxed. Slowly take your neck to the left, down. Continue, slow and gentle. And enjoying the movement, complete awareness around your neck region. Go ahead according to your own pace. Once you are done with three counts, come back to the center. Release, relax and observe your neck region after the movements. Observe if there's any change in the breath. Now, once again, slowly bend your neck forward. Now we'll go ahead with the anti clockwise direction. So bend your neck forward and slowly this time take your head towards the left, back, right, center. Two more times, slow and gentle. And when you're doing the neck movements, it's very common that we tense our shoulders, try to keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep going. 
and all of you try to turn your cameras on so that if there's anything I can help you with, I'll be able to. After three rounds, slowly come back to center. Now we'll move on to the shoulders. We'll go ahead with shoulder up and down movement, 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward rotation. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. Five. Feel a nice expansion of the chest. Four, three, two, one. Slowly center. Observe your shoulders after the movements. Gently open your eyes. Now, fingertips on your shoulder joint. Join your elbows together. We go ahead with the shoulder rotation. Now, avoid forward rotation of shoulders if you are having any shoulder or neck pain. And go ahead with backward rotation only. Okay. Others will go ahead with five counts of forward rotation and followed by five counts of reverse rotation. Two, three, four. Do them very gently. And five, reverse. Five. Try to keep your awareness around your shoulder joints. Feel each and every joint and muscle moving when you're doing the movement. Slowly after finishing your five rounds, come back to center. Observe your shoulders after the movement. And try to feel the difference between the shoulder joint and the rest of the body. You can feel slight warmth around your shoulders. Little tingling sort of sensation which is the improved blood circulation. Having awareness on the movements and on your body gives more benefits to the movement. Okay, now we'll move on to the elbows. Fold your elbows and stretch them straight. 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After ten counts, turn your palms down towards the mat. Now we'll go ahead with wrist up and down ten counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wrist rotation clockwise. One, two, three, four. Five, reverse, five, four, three, two, one. Hold your fingers tight, open them wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel like you're crushing something and give some resistance while you're trying to fold the fingers. And then we'll go ahead with 10 counts. In, like you're trying to press something hard, giving some resistance. One, two, three. The more resistance you give, the more is the impact on your muscles. Two more counts. You're done. Slowly release your hands, both the hands by the side. Close your eyes, relax. Gently open your eyes. For the hip movements, we'll include a little of spot jogging as well. We'll start with Gentle jogging on the spot, 
slowly start jogging now if you are having any knee pains just go ahead with the knee lifting up and down you can you might not get it till here because of the pain that's fine till wherever you are comfortable all these movements oka vela meeku nilchon cheyadam ibbandi ga unte happy ga chair lo koochon kuda same movements cheyachu keep jogging all these movements can be done by sitting on a chair as well in case if it's difficult for you to stand and do it. now sl- slowly speed it up a little more faster try to speed it up a little more keep jogging very good continue and slow down do not stop the practice but gently slow down and keep jogging okay now if you have any knee pains instead of jogging just go ahead with the backward movement of the legs now at this while jogging try to take your heels back towards the hips and continue slow down once again do not stop but just slow down anyone with knee pain will just do this first jogging we'll do it a little faster pendulum movement very good keep going once again centers low jogging slow down a little more and slowly start the practice hands by the side close your eyes and relax you may place your right palm on the left side and observe that your heart is beating faster than normal let your heart beat come back to normal the blood circulation in the body has improved the body is trying to send out more carbon dioxide and take in more oxygen slowly release your hand hands by the side again both the hands on the waist we finish the ankle and toe movement ankle forward and backward 
rotation clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, reverse, five, four, three, two, one. Close your fingers tight, open them wide. One, two, three, four, and five, release. Shift to the other leg. Ankle forward and backward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Toes close and open. One. Two, close them as tight as you can and open them as wide as possible. Four and five. Hands by the side. Once again, close your eyes. Relax and try to observe your entire body from the top of the head till the toes. Gently open your eyes. All of you, please stand in front of the mat. We'll go ahead with the practice of Surya Namaskara. Hands into Namaskara Siddhi. Thank you for turning on your cameras. Okay. Hands up and bend back into Ardha Chakrasana. Bend forward into Padhasta. Take your right leg back into Virasana. So try to give for in the next class. Like place your mat so that I can give look at your side view instead of the front view. Okay. So this class it's fine for the next class. Take your other leg back into Parvatasana. Gently place your knees on the mat. Chest between your palms, chin on the mat. Into Ishtanga Namaskara. Observe that instead of your elbows falling apart, try to keep your arms closer to the chest. Then raise your head and chest up into Sarpasana. Tuck your toes, raise your hip up into Parvata. Right foot forward in between your palms into Virasana. Other leg forward into Padhasta. Hands up and bend back into Artha Chakra. Namaskar Siddhi. Same thing on the other side. Hands up and bend back into Artha Chakra. Bend forward into Padhasta. Take your left leg back into Veera. Other leg back into Parvata. Knees gently on the mat. Place your chest between your palms. Chin down. Ashtanga Namaskara. Head and chest up. having any shoulder pain instead of looking up try to look straight tuck your toes raise your hip into parvata left foot forward in between your palms into veera other leg forward padhasta hands up and bend back arti chakra namaskar Siddhi. Now, as you are all familiar with the asanas, I'll just go ahead with the counting. We'll do the counting in Sanskrit today. Ekam, Dve, Trini, Right Leg Back, Chatwari, Pancha, Shatha, Sap. Ashta 
right leg forward nav dasha ekadasha dwadasha right same thing on the other side ekam dwe trini left leg back chatwari panch shat sapt ashth left leg left foot forward nav dash ekadash dwadash Very good. Now we'll hold for five counts in each pose. I'll not count the numbers loud out. We'll just let you know the next asana because you can focus more on your body instead of the numbers. Hands into Namaskar Sthiti. Adhya Chakra Asana. Then tighten your glutes to support the lower back. Pad Hastasana. You're trying to get your palms closer to your feet. Pad, hence the name Pad Hasta. Try to remember the names of the asanas as well. Right leg back into Vira. Other leg back into Parvata. Ashtanga Namaskara. Asana. Parvat Asana. Right foot forward into Virasana. Other leg forward into Padhasta. At the Chakrasana. Sunday Namaskar. Same thing on the other side. Also remember that there can be different names for one asana only. So don't get confused if you listen to another name in another yoga class. For example, we call it Virasana. Some schools call it Aswasanchana. Similarly, there are different names for different asana. Sorry, for the same asana. We we'll move on to the other side. Namaskar, Siti. Hands up and went back into Arthi Chakra. Focus on your breath. Normal breathing. Pad hastasana. In your regular practice, try to increase the counts. 
and holding and getting comfortable in that pose gives you more benefits when you practice the asana. Breathing through the practice. Now take your left leg back into breather. You can look straight or look at the center of your eyebrow. Take your other leg back into Parvata. Knees down, chest between your palms, chin down. Ashtanga Namaskar. Raise your head and chest up. Instead of squeezing your shoulders, try to open them by rolling your shoulders slightly back and look straight. Tuck your toes, raise your hip up into Parvata. Keep the awareness on the entire body. Observe your hands. Observe the head raising. Left foot forward into Vira. Other leg forward into Padahasta. Hands up and bend back into Adha Chakra. Hands and into Namaskar. Hands by the side, close your eyes, relax. Then you open your eyes. We'll go ahead with one balancing pose today. Place your left foot firmly on the mat by pressing the Pose and the heel firmly on the mat. Now, choose a point down on the mat. Gazing at that point, try to raise your right leg up and balance your body. Parallelly, get your hands also in line and try to get your body parallel to the mat. As much as you can, Keep trying. If you come out of the pose, if you're losing balance, that's fine. We'll get into the get back into the pose and keep trying. Balancing poses help to improve concentration and memory. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Now place the right foot firmly on the mat and bend. Try to get the body parallel to the mat, balance it. Slowly come back to the center. Let's try to remember this and try to practice this gradually throughout the week. Hands by the side. Close your eyes. Relax. All of you, lie down in Prashantasana or Shavasana. Lie down on your mat. Hands by the side. 
close your eyes, relax. Slowly open your eyes. Now we'll go ahead with the practice of Uttana Padasana. Raise your right leg up to 90 degrees. Place it down. The left leg up to 90. And place it down. Alternating right and left. Continue. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly down. If you're having any lower back pain, you will continue the same for another ten counts. Others, if you wish to, you can place your palms under your hips, palms facing down. Try to keep your hands straight. And then we'll go ahead with both the legs up and down. One up, down, two up, down, three up, down, four up, down, five up, down. Normal breathing, gentle smile on your face. It's three more counts. Last two. Very good. Up and down. Slowly. Legs back on the mat. Release your hands. Relax. Now, if it's your first class, just raise your legs up and hold there in Uttana Padasana. Anyone with shoulder or neck issues also will stay in Uttana Padasana. If you have been practicing Sarvangasana and if you're comfortable with it, we will go ahead with Sarvanga. We can do few preparatory movements. Like if you're comfortable with it, you can directly go into Sarvangasana gently. If you are in the process of learning it, let's go ahead with few preparatory movements and then into Sarvanga. Raise your legs into 90 degrees, pressing the palms firmly on the mat. Try to get your toes closer to the forehead. And in that process, you can observe your hips coming off the mat. Just do it two more times. Try to raise your hips up. If you wish to, you can pull your abdominal muscles or the navel towards the spine. Okay. And if you are able to do it, remember to keep your neck rested on the mat. Now this, do it very gently if you're big enough. Please observe. It's very important to observe to avoid any kind of pain or injury. Now, if you're in the process of learning it, raise your hip up and once your hip is up off the mat, try to support the hips with the help of your palms. After doing this, and once you're comfortable in this, then you will slowly try to straighten your body. Now, coming out of the pose is also very important. Without any jerks, first gently place the hips back on the mat. Release your legs. Hands by the side. Close your eyes and relax in Prashantasana or 
शवासना for all the women inverted asanas should not be practiced during your menstrual cycle very important to remember no inverted asanas during your menstrual cycle now we will go ahead with the practice of seta bandhasana fold your legs you can hold the ankles if you are not having any knee pain if you are having knee pain you will just place the palms beside your feet then slowly raise your hip up squeeze your glutes exhale down observe the contraction in the neck region when you are going ahead with setu bandha that helps in the proper functioning of your Right, right, one. Down. It's a very good asana for your spine. Also, inhale up, do it gently, pushing the abdomen up. Exhale down. Once again, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down slowly. Release your legs. Hands by the side. Close your eyes. Relax. Now we'll go ahead with the practice of Matsyasana as a counter for Sarvangasana. Once again, place your palms and the hips try to keep your hands straight palms facing down towards the mat very good now raise your head and chest up balancing your upper body on your elbows look at your toes here yeah, once you balancing the upper body on your elbows look at your toes and gently bend your neck back placing the crown of the head on the neck on the mat meetala oka maadu bhaganni yoga mat med gentle ga place cheyandi now observe that there is a good stretch in the neck region now there was compression in sarvanga and setu bandha as a counter now we are trying to stretch the neck there shouldn't be any strain on the neck when you do this if this if you're getting strain on the neck please relax come out of the pose and relax the pressure should be on your elbows only your neck shouldn't bear any weight now slowly raise your head up first look at your toes and gently place your neck down on the mat release your hands release your legs and relax completely for these asanas sarvanga and matsya helps to direct the flow of the blood to the head region which helps in improving the facial glow helps to reduce hair fall helps to improve memory concentration a lot more benefits helps you to relax relax completely
Now all of you, just turn to your right and you lie down on your abdomen and just look at the screen. I'll just try to give you a small demo and then we'll continue with this. Yeah. We're practicing Sarvangasana in a way, but in few classes, you might learn it in a different way, wherein first, in the, there's also another way, wherein you bend forward and take your legs back, like Tolasana. And then in this process, you will suddenly support your hands with the legs and come up. This is also another way but it's not that suggestible because it's a vigorous way and there are chances of injuries. So I suggest you to go ahead with this way. It's a little easier when you go ahead into Dolasana and come up, but improving your core st strength by practicing the hip up and down is what is suggestible. That's one thing I would like to include in this class. Now, we will turn on to your right, lie down on your abdomen. We'll go ahead with the practice of Dhanurasana. Fold your legs, hold your ankles. Raise your head, chest and legs up. Push your legs back. Exhaling slowly, come down. Two more times, inhale up, come down, inhale up, exhale down. Now, inhale up, and this time let's hold there for 30 counts. While breathing, try to stay in the pose and enjoy the pose. Inhale up. Keep pushing the legs back and hold. Normal breathing. If you feel like you're holding the breath, you'll start counting along with me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, I'll just count in my mind. Focus on your body. Ten more counts. Just try to stay there. Very good. Even if you want to relax, just relax for a second and come back. Very good. Just ten more counts. Slowly release. Release your hands, release your legs, and relax. With interlock palms, place the forehead on the mat completely. When you hold, or you can feel the effect of the asana on the body. So try to hold the number of counts. Try to increase them. That is how you advance in the practice of asanas. So the at least you have to get, not on the same day, but with gradual practice, through months you have to, you would try and practice in such a way that you can hold in the asana for a minute at least comfortably. That's how you can get the actual effect of asana. But you have to gradually increase the count. Do not force yourself on one day. Like for example, 
initially you'll start with 10 then gradually increase it to 15 then after a month try to hold it for 20 and so on slowly turn on to your right with the support of your palms sit down in a comfortable meditative pose Close your eyes. Just relax for a few seconds. Gently open your eyes. We will go ahead with the practice of Bhastrika. Avoid the practice of Vastrika in case of any heart issues or hypertension. Instead, you will be practicing Nadi Shodhana or Nadi Shuddhi. For the practice of Vastrika, place your palms into fist beside your chest. And it's forceful inhalation and forceful exhalation. Always remember when you inhale, your abdomen should bulge out. When you exhale, your abdomen should shrink in. Shwasa is kunapur potta upali, shwasa is kunapur potta lopal kvelali. Forceful ga inhale chesto, you raise your hands up and open your fingers wide like this. And then you drop your hands down with forceful exhalation. Now, hands ni kinda kane tapuru, it should be a very gentle and free movement. There shouldn't be any strain on your hands. It should not be this. There should not be any stiffness. Instead, it's just this. Okay? To avoid any strain on the shoulders and hands. Okay? It's forceful inhalation and forceful exhalation. We'll do it for 10 counts now. Now, another important point, avoid forward bending when you're doing this. And try to keep your facial muscles relaxed. There shouldn't be tension in the facial muscles. It should not be this. Do not tense your facial muscles. Instead, keep them relaxed. There you go. Keep going. Slowly release, relax. Just place your palms back on your thighs, close your eyes, relax completely. Observe that your breath It's naturally slow. Try to observe the thoughtlessness in the mind. Enjoy the calmness. Keeping your eyes closed. We move on to Nadi Shuddhi. Left palm into Chin Mudra, tip of the index and thumb together. Right hand into Nasikagra, index and middle at the root of the thumb. Spine, neck, head straight in line. With gentle feather touch, close the right nostril. Slow and deep inhalation through the left. Now close left nostril. 
Exhale through the right. So then inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. This is one round of Nadi Shuddhi. Let's go ahead with another five rounds. Very slow and deep inhalation. And exhalation. Excuse me. Remember that you shouldn't be able to hear the breath of your own or hear the sound of your own breath as well. So the inhalation should be so slow and so deep. Very good. Another three counts. Try to keep your spine straight. If it's difficult, you can take the support of the wall. Nadi Shuddhi is the only pranayama that can be practiced by all the age groups and also with any health condition. At the tip of the nose, feel the cool air and in the nostrils. And the warm air coming out of the nostril. If you try to sit down for meditation directly, and try to calm your mind, because of the silence, there will be increased thoughts. Instead of the thoughts slowing down, there might be increase in the thought. So, practicing pranayama or the breathing exercises before meditation helps you to have a more smoother experience and more you can enjoy the meditation more. After five rounds. After you exhale through the left nostril, slowly stop the practice, close your eyes and relax completely. Keeping your eyes closed. Enjoy some quality time with yourself. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly join your palms together. 
Into Namaskar Mudra or Anjali Mudra at the center of the chest, and let's all chant Om Kara for three times. Take a deep inhalation. Let's all chant Om Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu together. Om Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. Om Shanti Shanti. Shanti Slowly start rubbing your palms together to generate warmness. Make the palms in the shape of a cup. Place them over your eyes. Feel the warmth. With few gentle things slowly open your eyes looking at your palm. Thank you so much for joining us. Over to you, Ravi Garu. Thank you, my Garu, for another wonderful session. Hope you all had a good enjoyed it, uh, the workout. Thanks to our sponsors. Uh, swagat biryanis and more uh, anyone have any questions please post it in chat or you can ask <laughs>